Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Batman, the Telltale series. Once again, for every video, <laughs> I am dedicating this run to Joel Schumacher. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, if you've seen episode one, or if you know the story of Batman, the Telltale series, this is an alternate universe narrative. As in, things will not be the same as they are in the comics, movies, or even those of their own alternate universes. This is its own thing. And we go into episode two. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Yep. We make our own flavor in this narrative, but you know, the narrative is still different. For instance, last time we learned, Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's father, might have been a criminal. As well as his mother, maybe. The Wayne parents. You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. In memory of Thomas and Martha Wayne. Crime Alley, 5:38 a.m. Nice I thought I day. might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. And Alfred knew about it. You should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. Yes. This isn't going away. Are these allegations? It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years... What would you have me do? You were a child. Then why call them allegations? I've been Is it true? this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. And try harder! <laughs> Bruce. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. You made the wrong choices, Alfred. You should have told me, but... You know. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Nice, uh... Yet, there it was. 
Well, Dark Knight Returns reference right there. That's a comic reference. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Where should we start? Right there. Or do we start from the beginning? The theater. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. Mom! She was always so good to me. Yes, I love my mama. <laughs> I say that proudly. <laughs> Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. In a way, the narrative that is usually propagated by DC Comics and everybody else, you know, how Thomas Wayne was a good man, like how the Kent family, yeah, Superman for the win, how the Kent family was a good, you know, they were good people. That's how Thomas Wayne is depicted. An entrepreneur, industrialist, but ultimately a generous, empathetic, kind person. And that's how we see, as Bruce Wayne, how we see our father and mother. But... Is that the story? In Telltale. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibility is a frightening. Kill him. Send him to jail. That's the Batman thing. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. That's the fate of a lot of people, isn't it? Stabbed to death in prison. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? There are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? It's who you are, Bruce. You have to know. You're a detective.
the pearls. Fake pearls, I might add. Since they're not individually knotted. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. He might. Batman. The Telltale series. GCPD. Gotham Police. Oh, Gotham City Police Department. Jeez, everybody. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules. I remember you. you. Now, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm always here for you. But this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Thank Look, you, I get that, Harvey. okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. That was your fault. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Yeah. Bruce, that's... That's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. Absolutely. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing, but everything's been a little busy. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes, yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Well, hola, Thanks, Sergeant. Como estas? We're I'm keeping Falcone in the infirmary. Try to learn Spanish here. I'm just kidding. I could I'm tell Batman <laughs> wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Yeah, disparage. I know he does a lot for the department, but honestly, Batman freaks me out. Oh, he's definitely freaky. But I'm glad he's out there watching over the city. Really? Even though you campaigned against him? As we All established right, in the Falcone's first episode. Inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Harvey campaigned against vigilante justice in the city. Just FYI. Episode 2. Carmine Falcone. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? Well, hello there. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> you can only hope. Don't talk like that. You remind me of your father. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. 
Hey, you're angry, kid. I can see that. Maybe you think I had something to do with his death? Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. It's a damn shame you ask me. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Oh, goodness. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Hurt him! Tell me a story. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's Don't talk about my mother! <laughs> you care about people. Yeah. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> I lost her so young. I hardly remember anything about her. She had steel in her, did Martha. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone. He'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the They're waiting for you in hell! Shit! <laughs> oh, damn. The bastard had to die. I was, I was contemplating the what Carmen had said. <laughs> and that just doctor. happened. Secure this door. No of course, but around. damn. Go! Go! Hmm. Jim turned off the camera. If you ask yourself, is he protecting himself or is he protecting his people? But the part we are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. <sighs> Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. 
issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Jim Gordon, uh, the man. The attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. Sometimes you just I got a good cop. them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Look at her face. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Clearly a mark. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Uh, yes. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Uh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so... I believe you, Montoya. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. There were a million miles Tell me away. about the voice. Did, did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child the voice it was saying something about revolution cobblepot said something similar i'm so sorry lieutenant i've let you down oh what you have stalled falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back so how is she did she tell you anything yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Uh, hi, Vicky. What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I, I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. 
Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Sorry, Vicky. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. What an interesting thing to say. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sickbed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men the at the docks. docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. And this one. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location.
it though, you go. You'll be alright. You're right. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? I'm going to speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. The Bat. I do stealth. Do you do so? You lot, come check out this office. Where is he? Arrow! Please, James, hey! You can help me, or you... Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing. So, I actually admire you, Batman. Bruce Wayne is privileged. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes, a oh, beautiful name. Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
No capes, really? The stacked deck. Six twenty six PM. Excuse me. Twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Bartenders know everything. What else is here? Musica. Did you hear? The cops raided his house. I'm sorry, his manor. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh... Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. <laughs> You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Oh. Leave him alone, Frank. <laughs> Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. Like our demeanor changed. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He stole mind-altering chemicals from Falcone. Hmm. Drugs aren't really Penguin's M.O. Well, maybe he's branching out. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. 
You and I... <laughs> the bartender. <laughs> Don't wreck my bar! You guys. Oh. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says, Allo. Allo. Is that how you guys say it across the pond there? Allo. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Yeah. I don't. Not the bar. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Should it be nice to that bartender? Maybe even the whole Not done yet. Yeah. They want more. Then let's give it to them. We could be heroes just for one day. Pretty good for such a pretty boy. Yoink. Come on, this way. I still love that red and the blue. Quick, check the alleyway. See anything. Negative. Let's check the other side. Gotham PD. Thorough investigators. I presume because there's only two of them at the moment. I don't know. But. <laughs> yeah, we're we're alone. Yeah, they're probably all warm and everything. The tension's up. Move. We, uh, we, we should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Just... Stay out of trouble. <laughs> now, where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. I know. I might not. Oh, I might. Uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back I computer. Might. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. 
I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Mm. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's, it's wiser to go as Bruce. We'll get him talking. He'll underestimate us. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Must be nice and cool in there with that big hole in the window. <laughs> Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Um, Excuse quid me, Mr. Pro Wayne? Quo. I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Ah, thank you. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Jeez. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. I'm a liar. I'm lying. Not a chance, Hill. Oh shit. <laughs> Harvey loose. Are you Damn it. on your head. <laughs> when the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. 
I'm the man oh that says I never left such a message. <laughs> I and totally intended to lie. Bow their heads and say, say yeah, yes, sure, I'll, I'll drop our. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things. And now I he give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm the man who throw you over this rail without a second thought, and my lawyers make this whole thing disappear before you hit the ground. <laughs> if that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. I just made a threat to this dude. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on his last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill, and you're not getting back up. Damn, I, I played this wrong. I did, but I guess I'm just being honest with this dude. <laughs> I was totally gonna lie and deceive, but Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security. The <laughs> I messed up. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Well, at least I know why the Penguin is mad. Because we took their land. It was, it was terrible. And that's why Oswald dislikes me. But I didn't do that. I just benefited from it. I didn't do it. I privileged off of the action. I wonder what else is on here. Is it my fault? Surely? As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed, first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. Thank you, Alfred. I'll, uh leave you to it then well we got newspapers Gotham district attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path someone has to stop Falcone despite the backing of billionaire Bruce you can Wayne, read this and pause the video that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff right there, and making there, right? advice a Dent spoke police raid Wayne Wayne's properties are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign in other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars Thank expecting you. a quiet night well. out. But police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Latest Lotus polls Park show Dent and Hill tie. In recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were Doc seen in a conversation escapes with custody. assailants shortly before Did he? the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the Carmine Falcone Despite murdered the in police custody. Bruce Wayne, but rumors he persist bad. that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated Distrust by is Gothamite's Mayor biggest Hill's concern. Campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg. Gotham after Falcone. Who do we want Reports to be? Say multiple arrests were made 
with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. I don't see my name in here, Vicky. Billionaire Bruce Wayne. Rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying. Whoops. Whoops. His campaign staff and oh, making advice. Right a Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated well, well, thank by the you. incumbent. I was trapped. I was trapped. Campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Here we go. The endless battle continues. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, Harvey. Look, Bruce. I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good... I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. I can't leave now. I mean, think of the message that would send to the voters. Bruce, You're I'm alive. ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. You're not really listening but to me. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. Oh. Money, I money, 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 money! Topic, I need you to keep me afloat. Money! I may have to trash you in public. <laughs> I'm sorry, you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. Get out of there! The debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember, you are always my friend, Harvey. Sorry. Shit. Won't listen. Won't listen at all. Wayne Memorial Auditorium. 8.27 p.m. Batman? Yeah, all quiet so far. It's not. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. I hope so. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. Oh. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. 
Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. <laughs> unless it's on request. <laughs> this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me, but this is the real thing. This is no bar fight. They're coming with everything they have. Good. That brawl barely had me break a sweat. None Selena. of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. No one listens Alpha, to me. Do you read? Now, aren't you glad I'm here? Uh, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates. Incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Get some. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, God damn, oh, sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's Hello. been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. You'll do. Get out of here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Mickey. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Sounds fun. Here we go. 
with a bit of a smack. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. Excellent. And now, a word from our sponsor. My townsmen, brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city for too long. Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, we show you the truth. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, love. You know what to do. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Can you hear Harvey? Gotham's floor. Sure. Let's say it's We're out of time, Batman! The brass is going nuts with those two drunks on stage! It's not too late to save the city. We get back corrupt politicians. And what about the corrupt elite? Harvey's a good dude. This is so sad. The men's fortunes are built on corpses. Men like your friend, Bruce Wayne. You're as bad as he is. Happy to look away from what you don't want to see. Roll the tape! Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please. Please. I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. We both played together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Oh my god. Now you know. Now you will see. Shit. Batman! You certainly know how to make an entrance. I took out Tom. 
Thomas Wayne. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. Don't yeah. won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. How will let you kill anyone else. Harvey. Why right, your turn, Dent? Out of my way. This Where's your maid, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn up. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. Shit. Handle it. Mr. Dent. Thanks. Gotcha. Freeze! I said freeze! Hold your fire, damn it! Where's the maniac in the mask? City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant. He's lucky. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Did you see her? Well, look for the blood. There. <laughs> Come on. She kind of got far. Damn, Steve. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Episode 2, Children of Arkham. Did you ease Falcone's pain, or did you make him suffer? <laughs> we helped him out. Did you kiss Selena? Yeah, of course everyone did. <laughs> did you visit Mount Harold's Bruce or Batman? Most of us went as Bruce, and I bet they got... No, did they lie to him? I would have. I would have played right into it, yeah. But I messed up. Yeah, no one... Yeah, practically no one. 8.8% people. Who are you? Most of us saved Selena. But Harvey needed our help. And Selena, you know, she has skills and training. Said she's out there right now, though, suffering. But 
I tried to tell her. Was... Well, with the exception of these two. With the Selena ones, wow, with the exception of the Selena ones. We're in the majority. Well, thank you for joining me for episode two of the Batman series. The Telltale series, that is. In these troubled times, I wish you all well and that you all stay safe out there. And once again, this entire run is in honor of Joel Schumacher, who made my childhood a little brighter when I was a kid with his cool movies. Damn public opinion. I know they're bad. I loved them. But Lost Boys isn't bad, I might add. It was a cool-ass movie. Vampire movie. Anyway, thank you. And stay safe. Look at the pets. I like how they mention the Telltale pets. Over here. Cat. Bunch of doggies and kitties. It's a work of fiction, people. Calm down. <laughs> Oh, Mark Neal. Take care and thank you.